arrive at the studio at 9 o'clock and work the whole day straight away. I, I make a coffee but I have a coffee while I'm painting and often the coffee doesn't get made until about 11 o'clock because I'm working so intensely when I arrive on something uh, and then I work till about 6 in general uh, and I do that every day. From the age of 16, uh, I was uh, painting at home, doing quite big still lifes and self-portraits and I, th I thought I was doing really, really well because I was the, the boy at school that was seen as the boy that was really good at art. Uh, and then this painter, Robert Lenkovich, came and saw my work and he said, at the moment you're painting with hope on the end of your brush. I said, what do you mean I'm painting a hope on the end of my paintbrush? And I said, and he goes, uh, you, uh, you just all, it's, all, it's all guesswork. It's all, you know, you, you don't know what you are doing. You need to put knowledge on the end of your brush. After I had won the, the Royal Society of Portrait Painters at 22, uh, uh, there was always a temptation to become a kind of conventional portrait painter. But the problem with portrait painters, they make good livings, but they never ever get taken seriously as artists uh, in the modern age. I'm not talking about Van Dyck or Titian or Rembrandt, of course, the greatest art ever made were portraits in some ways. You know, I wanted to know what I didn't know. I wanted to go take my work as far as I could take it, take it to the beyond and go beyond it. managed to sell just about enough work and in the past I've done teaching I've had patrons that have kind of helped me uh, have spaces to work in so I've had you know luck goes with you when you're an artist and I've also spent my whole life living on a simple budget uh, you have good years and bad years as an artist if you're not really really famous and successful uh, and I've learned to live on uh, well but simply. I find it so rich at the moment and um, almost uh, right now for the period we're living in to make something different, you know, and visionary in a sense. And um, uh, in a way, these are kind of figures, strange figures, grotesque, and uh, that you kind of, they're part of my, they started off with the idea of the golden age and they are, the problem with the golden age, uh, everyone complained because it was too yellow. Uh, anyway. For me, the hardest struggle is with the work, trying to take it somewhere. I can't complain, you know. I, I'm, I'm still doing the thing that I loved when I was 
16 years old and I still been doing it and doing it with passion and intensity uh, it's it's a bittersweet symphony you have to learn to enjoy the, the symphony mm -hmm. 